welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, this video is all about how to conceal a belly. I am two months postpartum, so I still have a bit of a belly. Um, I am breastfeeding and it is shrinking as I go. And I had a C-section, so you couldn't really work out right away. So I'm just, you know, getting back into some of my old jeans and some of my old clothes. But I am in that in-between stage where there is a belly showing. If I wear a tight stuff, there is a belly. So I wanted to share some tips with you guys and some pieces with you guys that I have recently picked up as well as some things that are in my closet as well that will help you guys if you are in a similar situation where you're trying to conceal a belly. This is great for people that are also in the early stages of pregnancy. Maybe you're really bloated or you're showing early. You don't want to tell anyone yet so you want to kind of conceal the belly this will help you as well because I'm giving you some general tips and ideas and if you hear that in the background that's because we are two months right now which means we are now starting to respond to my voice with that lovely baby baby talk so hopefully it's not too distracting but he's my artistic director right now so he's gonna hang with me okay so let's get started with this video so the first thing I would suggest is investing in a little bit of shapewear, some undergarments that are going to help, you know, smooth things out a little bit. So if you can get, um, I picked up some underwear that come up to like here and it really smooths things out if I'm wearing something that is a little bit closer fitting and I don't want a whole bunch of like that whole rippled effect with my belly, uh, then that's great. And I picked mine up from Target and if I wasn't wearing them right now, I would totally show them to you. I put together a bit of some hit and misses. That's actually not the term I was going for. <laughs> so do's and don'ts um, to show you the difference of what, how an outfit can accentuate a belly and then how you can conceal it. So I did that for the first three looks or so just to get, just to give you a full visual because sometimes we don't realize what it looks like and by all means, this is not to say if you have a belly and you're confident with the belly and you like your belly, like your belly, that's fine. I'm a perfect example of I am cool with reality. I would not type to try and have a quick, quick snap back within a week. I'm taking my time. I'm breastfeeding, it's going down with time. I had a C-section, obviously you have to recover. I'm taking it easy, this is my first baby. I'm giving myself some time. So, by all means, I'm not out here telling you, you know, you should all have a six pack. That's not what I'm saying. But if you are watching this video because you want to conceal the belly, I'm showing you some ways that show off the belly and then hide it. I like to kind of educate as well as just give, you know, shopping options. So I really wanted to show you some examples that will show you the opposite spectrum of, you know, what may make a belly look bigger uh, or make it stand out more than just showing you how to cover it. So I want to give you a quick example. These two pieces here I've selected from my closet because they couldn't be more opposite. This one is like this little demure looking dress, a little bit flowy looking. And then of course it's really busy fabric and it has a cutout. So I feel like a lot of you out there, if you were supposed to pick one of these that would be more flattering if you're trying to conceal a belly, I think a lot of people might think this one is and not this one. And I just wanted to give you an example of how this is not necessarily true. Now, if you see with the white fabric, the way that it hangs, you're going to see a belly because you're going to get a little bit of a shadow happening. And of course, it is, it's not super tight, but it's all one color. It's white. White things look, tends to look a little bit bigger. Um, that's why a lot of people wear black when they're trying to look small. And if you look at this, there's so much going on. It's so busy with the print that you're not really looking at the shape as much as you're looking at the print of this overall look. And then where the cutout is, it's actually gonna be at the smaller point of someone's belly, most likely, because it's just, you know, under the bosom. Um, I never, I have never said bosom in my life. I don't know where that came from. Sometimes when you're filming, you get this new vocabulary. It's actually quite magical. 
Now, of course, another example of something that may not be totally flattering if you're trying to conceal a belly, of course, a bodycon dress, which is short for body conscious. It is obviously hugging everything and therefore you're going to see pretty much everything. These are awesome when you're pregnant because you want to show off your bump and you probably have some in your closet from your pregnancy. But now that you are postpartum, you may not want to wear it just yet until you're back to your old self. Most likely if you're watching this video, that's why you're watching for tips. So just so you know, you can totally still wear them. I'll give you some an example of how you can still wear it. And it's very comfortable. Obviously, that's why we love bodycon dresses. Um, but what you can do is you can do something like a nice shirt on top that is going to be very much like a contrast. This is all body contrasts tend to make you think of the club. You know, it's very a uh, bit more sexy. And then I have a shirt here that this is very much on trend right now. Um, but what I would do is most likely if you are in the postpartum stage, you you might have boobs that you didn't have before. <laughs> I keep calling myself Dolly Parton because I never had. And so I like having, um, you know, I like having it a little bit open. Um, that gives, brings your eyes up a little bit as well, away from the belly area. And because this is not super, super tight, it hangs nicely over the stomach area without it being like, you know, printed out or bursting out. Um, it actually hangs really nicely. And of course you have another focal point with the embroidered flowers up here. So when you put these together, it looks like a really nice spring look. Um, classy looking, very chic, and you're not even like considering the belly. Nobody's looking at the belly and you feel really comfy because you're wearing the bodycon underneath and this shirt is not super tight. Here's another example of a really cute piece that probably feels really good, um, but it is not the most flattering if you're trying to conceal a belly. Having this elastic waistline will either cut your belly in half, looking like two halves, or it will rest above it and it will look even more obvious. It just becomes like, boom, another focal point that you're probably trying to hide from. But it feels really good on because very likely your old stuff is not fitting quite, um, quite the way you'd like it to just yet. And you're either wearing like a lot of leggings or, you know, stretchy, stretchy pieces. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can wear something like this. You can just add a simple sweater over top, something that, again, is going to land not too long or too short, um, just a little bit under your area of interest, and it will still look really cute. And you can like pull down the shoulder a little bit to give a little shoulder pop, another focal point to take away from the belly if you like. And I really like the contrast of something a little bit dressier with something a bit more casual. And I thought this was really cute, so I wanted to show this as well. I will link this below. Anything that is available right now, I will link below. So definitely check the box. Now that I gave you some examples of some no-nos when you're trying to conceal or hide a belly, hopefully um, you got some good ideas in your head. Now I can share some more pieces that I think are really cute. And a lot of these are available right now, so I'll put them below in the um in the description so this one right here this is great for several reasons now first reason being that it's obviously a bit looser so even if you have a pair of jeans that you can do you can do up you can zip them up but it creates a bit of a muffin top or whatever or your belly kind of overflows a little bit on top it's okay because this is going to hide it this is not going to be super clingy, it is a little bit flowy, and then it's also great because it has the vertical lines. Now, the way it works is, of course, vertical, it's gonna make your eyes think of the structure being elongated, so you're gonna look longer, leaner, and of course, if it was horizontal lines, you kinda of look a little bit wider, your eyes will go this way. Um, and then, of course, the, off the shoulder ruffle details also gives another area of interest for your eyes so people are not looking down at the belly area. 
So the top I'm wearing is actually another great option um, just because it is really flowy but it's it's not super long so even though it's flowy it doesn't look like oh hey I'm trying to hide something under here it just looks like it's the style of the dress and especially with the off the shoulder look as well it just looks like that kind of billowy look and it is on trend as well um, and the play on the different thickness of the lines also is really good as well as like keeping busy and not being you know not making you look really wide <laughs> so stripes are okay if they are horizontal horizontal but as you can see there are some thin ones happening as well it's not all the same um also if you are breastfeeding this is an awesome top as well you know you, you just you know let it hang another top that i think is really great as well is this one which is a gingham style top again this sort of busy print is great for concealing your tummy area now this is even more great because you can cinch in or wrap it around um, that tummy so it kind of brings it in a little bit and then you can tie your bow right smack dab in the center which can also sort of hide the belly area because um, if you tie it lower then it looks like you have a tummy you know it, it it shows the tummy more but if you actually put it on top of the tummy believe it or not it it conceals it this top is another great example for hiding the belly um, it has like a beautiful distracting and busy print um, that is going to you know make that your focal point and it's not super tight that anything is sort of bulging out it rests really nice over any bump that you might have um, and then the detail at the bottom hem is really nice as well um, so it's not you know like cinching in or anything like that it just falls really nicely over the little area that you might have down there um, so I think this is a really really nice option I want to show this dress because something that I think a lot of people think about is what can look good on camera I'm going to an event I'm going to be taking pictures I know I have a bit of a belly in reality no big deal but what's going to look okay if we're taking those family photos blah 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 here's a great example um, so again you don't have to wear it all black or all dark colors you can keep it interesting this has obviously the large polka dots but they're all the same size and they're all throughout the whole dress which is of course busy on the eyes it's going to take away from the bump area in reality because it is a bit closer you might still have a bump showing um, from different angles if people are really staring but in pictures nope that is you're good you are good you're not going to be seeing anything from the front um, it's going to be really flattering and same goes for something like this this is a bit older from my um, closet as well I'll show this in a video as well actually when I was nine months pregnant I wore this and I took a photo and I'm going to show you right now as an example you didn't see my bump and I was nine months pregnant if anyone that's followed me you know my tummy was huge it was huge but that just goes to show it's very much like an optical illusion how this all works um, so yeah that's another great example for you guys so I think this goes without saying, if you wear black, it really cancels out the belly. You don't really see it as much. Um, but of course it gets boring wearing black all the time um, for a lot of people and you want something to mix it up. If you do a nice, whatever your preference is, I actually love turtlenecks. So this is just like a black turtleneck. Um, now if you did this with all black, so black bottoms as well, that's a really sleek look where your belly is going to be cancelled out and then you can just throw something on top for you know a bit of personality or some, some interest um, and that's going to take away from your belly as well if it is like a tighter black top where you, you can see a, a bump um, if you put something like this on top 
nobody's gonna be focusing on what you're wearing underneath you just see black and it just kind of like falls back and this becomes the focal point or something like this and you can just do it with jeans as well as long as the black top of course is hanging below the belly and you don't have it popping out then you're not going to notice the belly i just wanted to throw this in for anyone out there that is you know still dealing with a bit of a belly um and you might need to be spending time on vacation or a beach where you don't feel like wearing a basic black bathing suit something like this is really nice as well i've already said this over and over again but if the print is balanced in size so you see like these banana leaves are kind of balanced in size then it's not going to make your eyes like drawn down you know to the belly and especially having like the darker darker shadows here and then pops of the lighter pieces in here that's going to be really flattering as well drawing your eyes a little bit upwards so that is great as well and i'll leave that this info below so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know in the comments or by giving it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.